Now then people, welcome back to the Just Your Football Show. It is Wednesday the 21st of July. We're back in familiar setting. The video must be so much better. Thank you for those that watched yesterday and were very, very patient. The internet was so bad. None of that plus net stuff ever again. I need to have a word with my mum for future reference. Um, remember, this is the Daily Leeds bringing you all the latest news concerning Leeds United in and around four parts. And of course, Ellen Road. Um, just before we do get into today's news as well, I just want to... Shout out the Leeds United media team, Angus Kinnear, Ben Parker, Craig Wilson, Tom Kerwin, many, many more. Um, and of course, all Leeds TV as well. Thank you to Tash, to Phil, to Chris, to Oscar, to Jed, to everyone that was involved. Jack, just, you know, the all Leeds TV crew in its entirety. Yesterday, we had a match at Leeds United, uh, at Leeds Goals. Um, it was it was fantastic. I'm not going to lie, I'm hurting today. My ankle's done in. Um, I don't know if any of you have seen, we did a press conference prior to the game and I heard that Ben Parker was playing. So I was giving it the big one saying, oh, if Ben Parker's playing, you know, his injury record's not great, I'll just target it. And um, anyway, I got there, you know, um, and he got out of his car and I was like, oh, you're right, Ben. I, I didn't realise you were playing. And he was like... I wasn't playing until I seen your press conference. Genuinely, I thought he was going to smash me. I'm not going to lie to you. I said to our last one, he's being serious, you know. I think he's going to smash me. <laughs> he didn't need to, though, because when the game started, he came over, did a little faint, and they ended up on the ass. So there's levels to this game, and unfortunately, I'm just nowhere close to that. No doubt you will see some footage coming out over the next few days, but they were great sport. Angus Kinnear, by the way, is a baller. Scored a beauty goal. Um, but yeah, make sure you check out All Leeds TV over the coming days. I'm, I've no doubt they'll get that content out there. It's great, as you can see. Playing in 20 degrees heat. My head's, yeah, burnt. Burnt. Um, but that's that from that. Let's get into today's video. So guys, we've got loads to go through today. And, and guess what? We've got some new links, some new people to discuss, which is always a good thing. Leeds United have been linked to a few new players, which is always exciting. But we're going to start, first of all, with one that we've spoken about before. It is Bricalo from Wolfsburg. Plays for the Croatian national team. Apparently, he is wanted by Atletico Madrid. Um, but Leeds are all apparently still interested in Bricalo. Look, I, I from what I've seen of him at the Euros, I'm not feeling it. You know, but if Atletico Madrid are, then of course he's up there, right? Let's not forget Atletico Madrid won La Liga. Um, and Bricalo, much like a lot of the other players that continue to be linked, is just one of them that won't go away. But I just can't see it happening from a Leeds United perspective. Um, we're going to chat now as well about Lewis Bates. Um, I, I expect there's going to be a medical today. Um, it was being reported by a number of reputable journalists that Leeds have accelerated their interest in Chelsea's Lewis Bates. A medical could be scheduled scheduled for as soon as today um, and it's believed that it's the clear path into first team football that persuaded Bate to choose Leeds over other interested clubs which again is props to Bielsa, it's props to Orta for the, the, the I guess the image they're able to convey and create to players, to new players to say look this is what you've got you know you can see with like Amelier, for example, and other players that have been close to the first team. And let's not forget, I'm going to give you some information on Louis Bait. Look, I've not seen a lot of him. I've seen the YouTube clips, the highlight clips. Um, but um, Focus on Leeds put a brilliant tweet out and he said, look, I've seen a few tweets knocking about Bait. Um, but let's be clear here. He's not a good talent. We're talking about an elite talent. One of the best in the country in his position for his age. This is the kind of player we're getting. You know, this is the kind of player that's going to be coming in and going to be knocking on the first team very, very soon. There's a lot of Chelsea fans that aren't happy about him even moving on. Um, but he is closing on that move from Chelsea to Leeds United, which will absolutely pain them, which is always a, is great. Um, apparently, the fee has been agreed with a sell-on clause. There is no buyback option, so they can't come sniffing back once he absolutely smashed it. But they are putting a sell-on clause in there. Personal terms apparently have been discussed ahead of the medical, which is due today. Um, one of the reporters did say there's still possibility of another club hijacking it late, but obviously time is running out. Now, I believe that club to be Liverpool, but listen... 
Liverpool need to get their ducks in order. They need to be signing their captain on a new contract, first of all. You know, Jordan Henderson, I don't think he leaves Liverpool, just FYI. But yeah, um, they need to sort that out. They need to get rid of all this deadwood they've got. Shakiri, Origi, it's the same every single window. Lewis Bate don't need to be going there. He needs to come to Leeds United, you know what I mean? Hopefully he will. And remember, this guy is an elite talent told by people that know a lot more about him as an individual than me. So I'm really excited by the potential of bringing in Lewis Bate. Well, I'm expecting it to be done. The fact that he's gone on a following spree, following every single Leeds United player. I mean, if I'm being honest, I think he followed me at one point. <laughs> but nah, listen, everything Leeds United is in it. Welcome, Lewis Bate. It is going to happen. Um, a new, as I promised you at the start, guys, there is some new players to be linked. And Jeremiah Borger, who is also an ex-Chelsea player, as Louis Bate is soon to be. But yeah, he's an ex Chelsea winger. Remember as well, like the, this we were talking about yesterday, Chelsea's conveyor belt of players, their academy is quite exceptional. The players that they bring in, some of them are bought, but they move them on for a hefty fee, even if they don't get close. Um, Jeremiah Boga only played one time for Chelsea. I think I was reading earlier on that then Gary Cale got a red card, which meant that his debut was then cut short because he was the one that was substituted. But he's been absolutely smashing it for Suzulo over in Syria. Ah, Apparently, Atalanta have signalled their intent to land him by putting in a 15.5 million bid, which has actually been rejected. But it's been reported that Everton, Leeds and Crystal Palace have all shown an interest in Boga, but are yet to firm up that interest. Now, Everton, I can't see happening there after Damari Gray. They've just signed Andros Townsend. My mind's blown. I, I mean, Everton fans, they're going through a tough time at the minute anyway. And then they're signing players like Andros Townsend. The mind boggles. Um, Crystal Palace will have to wait and see. They've done some great business. Uh, no Context Humour was saying, you know, trying to give a little jibe at Leeds United fans and saying they're signing all these top quality players. Mark my words, believe me when I say Patrick Vieira, for me, I'll be putting money on him being the first manager sacked. It's going to be another Dubois situation. That's not slant on him because I actually like him as an individual. I just don't think it's going to work out. But yeah, anyway, Jeremiah Borger, ex-Chelsea winger, currently at Suzulo, Leeds, apparently interested, but Atalanta have already put in a 15.5 million bid. So if we are, we're going to have to start getting moving on that. We're going to come back now to a player that's been linked quite a lot. We know that Victor Ott is a massive fan of. It is OK Yukoslu. OK, he was at West Brom, six months, had a great time there. Um, LUFC fan zone, absolutely been smashing it for me. Uh, big shout out to the lads, you know, contacting agents. And they've actually spoken to OK Yukoslu's agent. And it's quite a controversial um, subject. Um, and basically the agent said, look, we are aware of Leeds United's interests. However, the politics surrounding the deal may make it impossible. OK, now, he also went on to suggest that OK Yukoslu's Turkish nationality may affect a deal. OK, now that might seem bizarre to some, you know, and uh, again, I'm, I'm in that bracket, but some, you know, because of what happened, we'll just, but that's, again, I don't want to get into that sort of stuff, but it may seem bizarre, um, but... Victor Orta um, has also been quoted in an article during uh, an interview with Leeds United Live where he voiced a similar concern about the politics surrounding a potential transfer for OK Yukoslu. It's mad. It's, it's, it, it's a madness for me. He's not played for them. Yes, he's Turkish, but what? Like, we can't have any Turkey play. I don't know. I don't know. That's just my opinion. I think it's a madness. Um, if okay, your Costello is wanted by Bielsa, he's wanted by Victor Orta. He can give us what we need from their opinion. Then he comes in. He doesn't play for them. Never played for them. Yes, he's of Turkish nationality, but that shouldn't come into it for me. Um, but it shows. And again, you know, people, you know, have certain opinions and 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 to be honest, I got quite a lot of stick for saying that Alioski wouldn't be invited back to Ellen Road, for example. Um, and yet the club and Yukoslu and his agent are worried about certain ramifications if 
he was to sign for Leeds United. Now, that might not be Leeds United fans. It could be the same in Turkey. I don't know what goes on in their fan base. Would, would the Turkish people be happy with him moving to Leeds? Is that another side of the coin? I don't know. It's just a really controversial subject. And it's quite interesting to hear an agent or, well, I've not heard him directly, but sort of come out and say, look, we believe politics is nationality. It might cause issues. Maybe due to the way that... that fans have reacted again could be a reason why he's going it's it's not for me i don't think it's worth it mad 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 but we'll have to wait and see on that because he's clearly a player that victor Orta likes uh, and would like to come in and the fee I, it's looking at around six seven million it's not a lot of money um for a player to flesh out the squad so we'll have to wait and see i would imagine 95 percent of the fan base would be fine with okay you costly coming in just because of his nationality. We'll have to wait and see. Um, a, new, a new player, guys, uh, another midfielder, predominantly a defensive midfielder, can play in centre midfield, though, 21, Swedish international, was called up to the Euros most recently, is Jens Kajusta. Um, and apparently, he, he, they're reporting over there, um, he plays for Midgetland, um, and he's saying that it's looking like he may end up in the Premier League. And according to... Uh, a Swedish news outlet. There are four Premier League clubs that have shown con concrete interest in the Swede. It's Wolverhampton, it's Leeds, it's Newcastle, and again, Crystal Palace. Um, all have had discussions regarding the player with both his representatives and Midgetland. So we'll have to wait and see. As I say, um, Kayusta was not in their squad um, that played the Champions League qualifier last night. I think they drew with Celtic 1-0. Um, however, he uh, that is due to the fact that he did play in the Euro European Championships for Sweden. Um, but what they're saying over in Sweden is the fact that he wasn't involved at all for the Danish club, it's seen as though they're not wanting to risk anything because apparently a big sale may be imminent to the Premier League. So Jens Kajusta is a midfielder that apparently Leeds United, Wolves, Newcastle and Palace are all interested in. So we'll have to wait and see on that one as well, guys. But again, it's nice to see some new new, new names in the mix. In the mix. Um, just to finish up, guys, just some quick ones. Pablo Hernandez, El Maggio, has decided he will return to his hometown club, Castellon, after his Leeds United exit. He signed a three-year contract with them. Seen a lot of Leeds fans already reaching out to them, saying, we want a shirt with Pablo on the back. You need to make sure you can convert it into English on your website because you will get a lot of buys. I think, personally, I would get one if I had the cash spare. Yeah, 100%. JD Sports have also extended their partnership with Leeds United, uh, becoming the official retail partner for the 21-22 season. I believe this is all geared up ahead of our announcement, which is expected on Thursday. Remember, we play on Tuesday night as well, so we need that new kit sorted. Um, we've had another um, look at the latest images of the pitch as well. There it is in all its glory. It's looking pretty, pretty fresh, pretty good there. Um, so, yeah, the, the, the pitch uh, is coming along nicely. And just to finish as well, one of my... Uh, one of, my followers, uh, a, a guy by the name of Wayne Garrett, sent me a message yesterday on Twitter and said, look, I've just had a new registration plate done. Can you share it on the Daily Leeds with the guys? So I'm going to do just that for him. There is his new reg plate. It's got the Leeds United badge and L33 United Leeds United. It's a nice motor, that as well, to be fair. You need to take me for a cruise, Wayne. Reach out, reach out. But that is your Daily Leeds. Thank you, everyone, for watching this video. Please smash a like on it. Comment, subscribe, all that jazz, okay? Thank you so much for supporting me. Thanks for your patience in yesterday's video as well. You have an amazing Wednesday, and I will see you bright, early, bushy-tailed here as well. So peace out. and